Hello everyone, this is Nighthawk here, and welcome back to my Pokemon team if I was in the anime. In the last episode, I traveled through the Johto region with an interesting team, but now it's time to head into the next adventure, which I hope you find interesting. Also, according to YouTube's analytics, only a small percentage of you guys who are actually subscribed are watching my videos, and if you do like these videos, I consider subscribing. Now, let's head to the Hoenn region. My journey through the Hoenn region. After coming home to Pallet Town and doing some training so that I would be ready for any possible strategy, Professor Oak approaches me with a special mission. Well, more like a delivery. He wants me to go to the Hoenn region to meet up with a fellow professor named Professor Birch. Professor Oak gave me some cruise tickets that I would need to take to get to Hoenn. So like before, I packed up my bags and headed to the cruise area that would take me across the sea. After arriving in the Hoenn region, I make my way towards Little Root Town. On my way there, I encounter Professor Birch who is getting attacked by some wild Poochyena. I quickly grab a Pokeball and catch one of the Poochyena, making it the first catch of my team. After catching Poochyena, the rest of them fled back into the wild. Professor Birch thanked me for the help by offering me one of the starter Pokemon that can be found here in the Hoenn region. I pick the grass starter Trico as we head back to his lab. After Professor Birch and I talk about why I have come to see him, he gives me some vital information about Pokemon that live here in the Hoenn region and that he wants me to take it back to Professor Oak. I take the file, place it in my bag, and head back to the port so I can go back to Kanto. On my way there, I encounter a poster in the Pokemon Center of Petalburg City. It says, register here to enter the Hoenn League and go for the title of champion. So instead of going back to Kanto to give this file to Professor Oak in person, I call him up and told him that I would be mailing it to him instead. Professor Oak thought that that would be a good idea to enter the league in, there in Hoenn, and that he would let me know when the file arrived at his lab. On my way to Marvel City, I encounter a pack of wild Puchiana. Sensing them, my mighty Yenna comes out of its Pokeball. Little did I know that those were the same Puchiana that had been attacking Professor Birch when I first arrived here in Hoenn. They looked skinnier than normal and a bit beat up. I could see that these Puchiana needed help and mighty Yenna knew this, so I decided to release mighty Yenna so that he could protect the rest of its friends. After arriving in Mavel City, I went to the Pokemon Center to rest up for a bit and got a phone call from Professor Oak. He told me that the package had arrived and thanked me for going all that ways away. After winning myself the Dynamo Badge, I was soon bothered by a wild Ninjask. I tried to leave it alone, as it, but it kept coming over and attacking me. As it was attacking me, I saw how fast it was, but I also saw how fast it could be, so I agreed to battle it and catch it. Making my way back to Petalburg City, I battled Norman for the Balance Badge. Using Meditite, Torkoal, and Aeron, I'm barely able to beat him, but in the darkest hours, Aeron evolves into Laron, giving me the win. On my way to Moss Deep City, I saw a wild Swablu being attacked by some Team Magma Grunts. After battling the Grunts and fleeing the area, the Swablu was hurt and couldn't fly. The sun began to set as it started to rain. I picked it up and took it to a nearby cave entrance, started a fire, and began to heal its wounds. After that, I gave it some food as Torkoal and Meditite kept Swablu company, as I decided to go to bed. When I woke up the next morning, I expected to see Swablu gone, only to find it sleeping next to Torkoal and Meditite. I woke them up and asked Swablu if she wanted to join me on my adventures. Swablu seemed like she wanted to come with me, so I, so I picked up Swablu, took her to the Pokemon Center in Moss Deep City, and swapped her out for Ninjask. After 
Receiving the rain badge, I head over to the Evergrande City for the Evergrande Conference, the League of the Hoenn region. After all the training that I had done on my breaks in between my adventures to Johto and to Hoenn, and all the new strategies I've learned with my team, I make it to the top 8. Unfortunately, my team gets wiped out by a trainer using Pokemon that I had never seen before. But before I left, I asked him where he found some of his Pokemon. He told me that he caught his Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. With that in mind, I head back to Palatown, not in sadness or anger, but with excitement about another region. I asked Professor Oak if he had ever heard of the Sinnoh region before, and he had. He told me of another fellow professor in that region who has done work on different dimensions that are connected to mythical Pokemon. I get so excited, I give my Hoenn Pokemon to Professor Oak and head off to Sinnoh. But before I went, and without me noticing, Professor Oak left something in my bag that will come in handy on my adventures through the Sinnoh region. So, with that being said, that's going to be it for today's episode, if my Pokemon team was in the anime. I know that the Hoenn region wasn't really too much of a really big, uh, cool, adventurous one. Um, I honestly just wrote the script today, uh, and trying to, trying to read this without some kind of rage was not easy. Uh, cause all I did was take a nap today and I somehow lost 10 subscribers without me knowing. I have no idea how that happened. Uh, all I did was take a nap and upload a video. So I think when I upload videos, uh, people unsubscribe. Uh, I don't upload videos, uh, people sub subscribe. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe they were just accounts that are just bots that YouTube removed. So either way, Hoenn region has now been complete. I, like I said, I know it wasn't the greatest. Um, I probably could have made the story a little bit more interesting, but with the Pokemon that I had, it was a little bit tricky. I think the only real interesting one was Swablu. Uh, but next time, we're going to be heading into the Sinnoh region, and we'll continue from there. So, with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video, and let me know what you guys thought of these, uh, these Pokemon teams so far.